It's just a quick video here to see how much current the rapid charger draws versus the supercharger. Now you know the supercharger is pretty much only useful for these high output batteries, but Milwaukee makes a device called a top off, which is basically an inverter module that you stick right on a battery pack here and you get 120 volts out. So the thing with the top off is basically you cannot exceed 175 watts continuous. So the question has come up, can you charge a battery off of a battery? In other words, can I put the top off on here, plug this into the top off, and then put a battery on here that's dead? Can you charge it with a rapid charger, or can you charge it with a supercharger? So I just wanted to use my little kilowatt device here, and we're simply just going to plug this in. And we're going it's already on watts, so I've got a... 8.0 HO, I've got 5060, 12.0. I'm not going to charge those. I'm just going to pick one that's kind of in the middle. And it's got two bars on here, so let's stick her on here. She's charging. Let's see what the wattage goes up to. So the thing is, disregard the radio chatter in the background. So it's climbing right on up there. Remember, we cannot exceed 175 watts continuous. So the Milwaukee is starting to make its usual high frequency sound. That's not a fan. At least I don't think it is. There is a fan on a supercharger. Wow, we're up to 134 watts. 133, 134. So this is just an average, just an indication of how much power this thing will draw wattage-wise from your wall. So this is like having a 130 watt light bulb on whenever you're charging a battery. So again, 5.0 may draw more, may draw less. Um, a 12.0 may draw more, may draw less. We'll have to try that experiment at a later time. Now let's put it in the supercharger. We're unplugging this. Here's the supercharger. Plug that bad boy in there. And now, let's see where we're at. Just for grins. Still at 2. On an 8.0. Told you this was a quick down and dirty video. Now let's plug it into the supercharger. The fan's on. Light's charging. Look at that sucker climb. All right, we've exceeded our power on the top off. Wow, it's still going. Almost 300 watts. So there you go. If, if you have a supercharger, you definitely cannot use it on the Milwaukee top off. So this thing is more than twice of the current draw of a rapid charger, just slightly more. And again, we don't know what it'll do with the, uh, different types of batteries. This is an 8.0. But there you go. You cannot use a supercharger with the Milwaukee top off, but it looks like you can with a rapid charger. And here we go. So we got a 12.0 on top of the top off, which is an inverter. So we're putting out 131 watts plugged into a rapid charger, which is charging at 8.0 right now. And that sound that you're hearing is a little fan on the side, which is just varying speed all over the place. So it's holding steady at 130 watts, 131 watts, but something of interest, the voltage is lower than 120. It's around 113 on average. Um, listen to that fan. about to take off. So back to the wattage, 130, 131. So it seems to be working. This is rated for 175 watts output continuous. So the idea is that if you're out in the field and you've got a battery, dedicate one to maybe charging this guy. Of course, this won't be in the picture, but I may keep it just for grins. I don't feel any heat, just a little bit of air coming out there. 
But the idea is if you're out in the field, if you're out mowing lawns or something, your weed eater, your battery goes flat in your leaf blower or whatever, you've got an inverter here that puts out 120 volts at 175 watts, and that's enough for a rapid charger to charge a high output battery. So there you go. So the fan's still running barely, even though it's disconnected. So internally it's got a temp sensor, and this is the intake where you can see the fan. That's where air goes in. I wish they put a little, like a filter or something that you could remove and clean, but the output is over here, and if you look inside, you can kind of see the heat sink in there, but anyways. But anyways, cool little device, of course. You got switchable USB and USB-C on the top, and this is rated. There's the ratings. Of course, that's just average. Depending on the battery and the device that you're powering, it gives you a little estimate runtime. And the specs at the very bottom. Continuous watts, 175. Plugs into any M18 battery. So cool, neat little device. I wonder if this will stay running if I shut it off. Nope, it shuts off. So we'll turn it back on and let this thing cool off. Nope, it just stopped. Well, there you go, guys. Pretty cool. Catch you on the next one.